G'day guys, Greg here. Now, there's been a little bit of controversy about major food retailers using cabbage instead of lettuce. Unfortunately, southeast Queensland had a really big wet spell which ruined a lot of lettuce crops. And because it's winter, the freezing temperatures mean they can't plant more lettuce crops because they'll just freeze. So there's going to be a little bit of shortage of lettuce for a while. So I thought I'd come to KFC today and grab one of their burgers with the cabbage on and see if the cabbage is really that bad. I went and got a Zinger burger today with the cabbage lettuce mix just to see how bad the cabbage really is. Anyway, let's suss it out. <laughs> All right, well, here we go, a Zinger. Mmm, yum, oh yeah, some nice hot and spicy chicken. And well, here's the cabbage lettuce mix underneath. It, it actually doesn't look too bad. Here's the cabbage here. You can tell the cabbage is whiter. And of course the lettuce is greener, but apparently it's about a 60-40 mix. And well, looks pretty good. How about we just try some of the cabbage to start off with? I mean, to be honest, it just tastes like the hard white a bit of the lettuce. I've got a feeling the cabbage might be a really good addition to this because cabbage usually has a bit of a peppery flavour and it might add some extra tastiness to this Sanger right here. Anyway, let's find out. Okay, come at me. If anything, I think the cabbage is a little bit harder and because it's harder, it's harder to chew. And if it's harder to chew, then maybe you can notice it a little bit more. It's not exactly ruining the burger, but it is slightly noticeable and maybe it's a little bit drier or something. Lettuce can tend to be a little bit more juicier. So maybe with its dryness, it's sort of taking away from it. If somebody hadn't told me that there was cabbage on this, I probably wouldn't notice. I guess it just makes the burger that little bit harder to chew. There's a few little bits of flavour in there that you might find a little bit different. But otherwise, mate, I don't think it makes that much of a big difference. And, well, it doesn't take away from the flavour of the burger, but it doesn't enhance the flavour of the burger either. I know that one thing cabbage does is make you flatuate a little bit more, so there could be a few more stinky interiors of cars. So that could be something to be mindful of. I guess overall, it is a little bit harder to chew, but the flavour, well, you don't really notice it that much, unless you're really good at noticing things, <laughs> and then you might. But guys, you better get used to it because this problem isn't going away fast. In fact, it's going to be a few more months before we get the lettuce situation back on track. So what's my recommendation? Well, if you're not up for a bit of a lettuce and cabbage mix, then uh, don't get them to put it on there. <laughs> well, I hope this video helped answer a few questions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Food Change put something weird on a burger. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen With the day I went and tried a burger with cabbage on it It wasn't that bad, but it wasn't that good either